The undercurrents of Ukraine Russia war are being felt across economies from oil to wheat to chemicals every commodity is seeing a spurt in its price amid clogged supply chains chemical sector for one had just begun to see a turn around gaining ground from covid-19 induced increased logistics and freight charges and china plant shutdowns the ukrainian crisis however has sprung up worries for the sector yet again as analysts say margins of related companies will be impacted in the near term Concerns arise as crude oil is a key raw material for many players the prices of which are inching towards record high levels that apart depreciation of the indian rupee versus chinese renminbi also implies higher competitiveness of chemical exporters who are in direct competition with chinese players these concerns have also dented the stock's performance on the bourses stocks of deepak nitrite nocil and alkyl amines have tumbled up to 26% on a year to date basis In comparison, the Sensex benchmark has fallen 6%, while the BSE mid and small cap indices have shed around 10% each. But should investors lap up shares after this correction? According to AK Prabhakar, despite the cool off in prices, the sector will not be able to deliver good performance at least in the short to medium term. Chemical companies will not perform for next 1 1 and 1/2 years. No, because you know every company is now Uh, uh, they are expanding, so their margins will have an impact. So their profitability will have an impact. But if you are looking at three to five years, then you know, for me, most of the companies are looking good. You no, know, they are looking attractive. G. Chokalingam of Equinomics Research two cautions against crude dependent companies from a near term perspective. For example, uh, lubricant like there is a Savita oil, Gulf oil. You know, they use base oil. Uh, which is like ata from wheat you know not much value addition from crude oil to base oil so one can say they use a, you know as good as uh, crude oil so they are the first one to be affected you know the base uh, the people who make uh, lubricants and all second uh, petrochemical companies like uh, plims carbon there are many petrochemical companies they start with uh, you know the derivatives of crude oil uh, pitalic and nitride I N S, which uses styrene, which is from the crude oil. So, so the first is the uh, direct use of uh, you know oil in terms of uh, base oil. And now, second, petrochemical where the intensity of uh, oil derivative is very high. You know, you not only have uh, input price high, uh, the economic growth itself will uh, come down. You know, so because of this uh, war situation, you know uh, the disruptions, the growth will start correcting. and uh, the first two set of companies which make uh, you know oil uh, uh, which are dependent on crude oil um, or uh, petrochemical companies they are highly linked to the uh, economic growth so for them you know both ways it will be impacted so the first two category one should avoid for time being that said not all is bad for the sector analysts say companies that use substitutes of oil derivatives such as india glycol will benefit from rising oil prices as they use renewable energy specialty chemicals too look attractive at this point in time as valuations are inexpensive and companies look better placed to handle the current increase in crude prices that apart chemical companies involved in backward integration and those offering niche products such as army organic and clean science technologies are great long term bet according to kotak institutional equities indian specialty companies are better equipped today to handle raw material volatility given presence in more downstream and specialized product increased scale and growing dependency of global customers on indian players the brokerage expects companies with low dependence on crude such as navid fluorine srf rt industries and pi industries to be least impacted as they have the ability to pass higher input costs apart from chemicals other oil linked stocks will continue to be in focus on thursday as energy prices remain volatile moreover developments from russia ukraine conflict us inflation data the european central bank's monetary policy meeting and assembly election results back home will guide the indices today if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.